All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Fishing Planet video. I am up here in beautiful Falcon Lake. And today I am going to teach you how to use a popper. Um, I'm absolutely 100% positive that the trout up here at Falcon Lake are not going to strike this popper. This video is not about catching fish. It is about technique. Um... So, I have seen a couple of videos on, um, you know, poppers, and we're already cast out there. So, one person says this. When you use your popper, what you want to do is you want to reel, pop, reel, pop, reel, pop, reel, pop. All right? Nothing wrong with that. It's absolutely correct. It does. It is effective. Another one says what you want to do is real slow. And every now and again, pop. Right? As you can see, we got the popping effect. Okay? So, nothing wrong with that. Right? Either technique works. And I've seen both in both videos, they do catch fish using those techniques. However, now this is a matter of preference to me. Because I just like to get the line wound in a little bit faster. You can reel, pop, pause. Reel, pop, pause. Reel. Just leave that little pause in there. And a lot of times in that pause, the fish will come up and hit the lure. So you can leave that pause in there also and that's not a wrong technique neither now what becomes really unique with a popper right and this is this is um includes walkers as well all three of those techniques work with the popper and the walker they're basically the same one just pops and the other one doesn't there's no difference there so what's kind of unique with the popper is Okay, so I'm using this technique where I'm going just straight reel and pop. Now, I can switch in between it and not really lose my effect, right? That is something that cannot be done with any other lure. If you switch techniques with any other lure other than like a popper or a walker, you have to pretty much start from the beginning. So, you see, I can vary my retrieve. Oh, I did get a strike here. Oh, that's, that's impressive. I didn't think the trout would bother with that. I really didn't think the trout would bother with that. But, you know, again, it's unique with the popper that you can go through and change that technique up you know real pop real pop real pop pop pause pop pause So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's, you know, I mean, poppers are pretty unique topwaters in general. But there's no real wrong in the techniques that they show. But this is just more in-depth of, you know, the variations of um, using the topwater bait. Again, you know, you can... See, like I said, I like to go on speed two for the, um, the pause technique because it just gets the line up faster. That's just me. It's just personal preference. It can, the same thing can be done on speed one. Um, you know, again, so you can take that pause in there and a lot of times the fish will hit on that pause. If, if, if it's a popper attracted fish, you know what I mean? 
so a lot of times they'll hit on the pause. Um, you can do the, basically this is twitching. Oh shit, I'm, I'm outwinding. <laughs> nice. Basically, this is just twitching with the, with the popper. So basically the twitching, then basically the lift and drop, right? Then this would be kind of a delayed lift and drop. Right. So, you know, it's just a couple variations on once again on your popper. Let me go over here and uh deal with this deal with this little trout. fishing rod with it in two no three no what what the, what the hell one was it it's gotta be yeah there we go all right so again you have the lift and drop Right, the twitch and the, and the delayed twitch, and don't be afraid to switch between them as you're going with your popper because a lot of times you know one thing might not be working. You switch it up in the middle. You know, just again, it's so easy to switch between them. Without having to restart. A whole new retrieve. See, even if I, if, if I lose por a portion of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. Three different ways to use your popper. Um, as I said, again, you know, don't be afraid to try and switch the techniques in the middle of each one. You know, vary it. Change it up. Don't be a one-trick pony. Um, you know, it, it's just different ways to present it. Um, much like you, fish have memories, they see the same thing over and over again, they get tired of it, they stop biting, so change it up, and there's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen, hope this has been helpful, if you like my video, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, as this helps the YouTube's al algorithm to find the videos for others like-minded Fishing Planet members such as yourself, have a great day, boys and girls, I'm out.